close your eyes and try to be on good terms with your breath. When the breath is coming in, watch it coming in. When it goes out, watch it going out. Learn how to stay right here so the mind and the body are not working at cross purposes. This is going to require that you learn how to breathe through the body in a way that gives, sense, gives rise to a sense of well-being. So you can adjust your breath. You're not forced to breathe any particular way. You're free to choose. This is an important principle in the practice, is that we have some freedom. When you hear about karma, sometimes it sounds like everything in the present moment is totally determined by the past. But if that were the case, you'd have no possibility of practicing a path to the end of suffering at all. Some people would get there because of past actions, and other people wouldn't get there because of their past actions, but they'd have no choice. But the Buddha was saying very much that we do have a choice. He said if people couldn't abandon unskillful qualities, if they couldn't develop skillful qualities, there'd be no reason for them to teach. But it's because we do have this freedom that we can practice. So make the most of it. Show some goodwill for yourself. This is the season of goodwill and peace. And both of those have to start inside. If you're going to wish for other people to be happy, you want to make sure that you don't resent their happiness. And so the best way not to resent it is to have some happiness of your own, to learn how to be on good terms inside, get things peaceful and harmonious inside. So if you can learn how to find a sense of well-being simply by the way you breathe, that's a good start. Because as I said, nobody's forcing you to breathe in an uncomfortable way. And yet we do so often because we're not paying attention. Our attention is off someplace else. But here it is, the force of life coming in and going out. And it only stands to reason that if you pay attention to it, you'll get more out of it. And when you have a sense of well-being inside, then you think about other people and you ask yourself, well, why would I want to see anybody else suffer? There's nothing gained. There's a lot lost, actually. So goodwill for all is a skill. You learn some skills inside, how to breathe, how to relate to your body, how to relate to the present moment, how to relate to thoughts that come up in the mind. For the time being, any thoughts that are not related to the breath, you let them go. Here again, you have the choice. So make the best of your choice, your freedom of choice, but using some goodwill for yourself and then from there spreading it out to others. And it's when there's goodwill for everybody and you realize that your true happiness doesn't have to conflict with anyone else's. If your happiness depends on material gain, status, praise, material pleasures, then there's going to be conflict. Because when you gain, somebody else has to lose. So they gain, you lose. Or the happiness that comes from within, nobody loses. Everybody gains. And there's no conflict at all. This is how goodwill leads to peace. So make the most of the fact that you do have this freedom of choice. You can breathe any way you want. You can think any way you want. So learn how to breathe, learn how to think in ways that really are good for you. And Good in a way that allows that goodness to spread around without any boundaries. That's how we'll find some peace in the world. And even if our example doesn't spread the peace very far, at least we know we haven't been contributing to the turmoil out there. We've got this island of peace right here. And it's not an island where we have to fight people away. Anybody is welcome to join us. So we can be a good example to the world.